Welcome to this short summary of Marry for Leo's B-School. In this video, I am going to summarize this course so you can get the main ideas and decide if you want to purchase it. You can also get the full 82 page summary of this course by clicking on the link below. If you use the coupon code YouTube, you get 15% off. So what is B-School? B-School is a six week training program that teaches smart, effective online marketing strategies to business owners who want more sales and more impact from their online presence. Now, this course was created by Mari Forleo through her award-winning show, Mari TV, world-class online training programs, a number one New York Times best-selling book. She helps people like you dream big and back it up with meaningful action to create results. B-School's big, bold promise is that it will make your dream business a reality. So let's start this short summary. And remember, if you want to get the full summary, make sure to click on the link in the description. Short disclaimer before we begin, we are not associated or affiliated to the course creator. Profit Clarity. What is Profit Clarity? Profit Clarity means that you understand which products or services are the most profitable in your business. The goal is to find a sweet spot where you both enjoy what you do and you make money. You want your business to be fun and profitable at the same time. Money needs clarity. You need to understand exactly what your business model is and how it makes money. It is not enough just to have an idea. You need to know how it will make money. You can build a business around what you really love and what you are good at. And Marie shows you how to do that. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other course summaries. Ideal customer avatar. Your ideal customer avatar is super important. Without it, your marketing will be generic. Having an ideal customer avatar is what makes your videos, blog posts, and emails convert. Without it, you will just be shouting in the wind. Once you have an ideal customer avatar, your sales will skyrocket, marketing will be easier, you will attract clients you actually want to work with, and you will reach your business goals much faster. Premium brand position. You never want to compete on price. Why? Customers who pay low prices are generally hard to deal with. They're not loyal and go to another provider if they get a lower price. I have experience with this. I've been a freelancer for a few years and this is absolutely true. Competing on price will also hurt your profits because you will have low margins and people will already get used to you being cheap, so it will be tough to increase your prices. High prices show you have more credibility. Remember, you get what you pay for, right? So this applies to your business as well. The best customers don't purchase if the price is too low. They want the best and they know the best is never cheap. How to position yourself for premium prices from day one. You've got to understand that people will pay whatever you ask for something they really, really want. You've got to find the biggest pain points of your ideal customers and solve those problems. Only then you can charge premium prices. But if you want to position yourself for premium pricing from day one, you need to make sure that your design, your branding and your positioning is aligned with your premium price. How to eliminate competition. Be yourself, don't copy others. It simply doesn't work. Yes, you can find inspiration from others, especially if they are in other industries, as Marie does. She looks for inspiration in the entertainment industry, but you have to be yourself. You have to be clear on your UAP, your unique awesomeness proposition. And this is Marie's spin on USP, which means unique selling proposition. This is what sets you apart from other businesses. So here's how to find your UAP. 
First, read the book Now Discover Your Strengths. This is a fantastic book by Marcus Buckingham. After you've read this book, take the Strengths Finder test online and just discover your strengths and then delegate whatever is not your strength. By the way, I've read the book and I took the test and it's it's I highly recommend it. It's very eye-opening. Ask people around you, what are my three best qualities? You will likely find some common responses. Listen to them. Make competition irrelevant. Why do you need to create a blue strategy with your business? Instead of focusing on a red ocean, which is bloody from the cutthroat competition in a crowded industry, focus on a blue ocean strategy and generate new demand in a uncontested market. Create your own market category and be the boss. To know what your blue ocean is, you need to create a strategy canvas. The strategy canvas is a visual representation of the current state of affairs in a known industry. You're gonna map out what factors the competition focuses on and you will map out how you can differentiate yourself. You can use this every time you launch something new. Marie analyzes how Cirque du Soleil compares to a traditional circus from the blue ocean perspective. And you can find this breakdown in the full summary, which you can get by clicking on the link in the description. By the way, uh, Blue Ocean is a highly recommended marketing book. So if you want to learn more about this, make sure to get the book as well. Website control. A website allows you to have all your marketing in one place. You don't need to be a programmer to manage your website. It's much more simple than that. So you have two choices regarding your website. You can either update your site yourself uh, by building your site on WordPress or a similar system and get trained on how to do new pages, blog posts, and basic text changes. Or you can have someone reliable on call. You can hire somebody who is going to be on call or someone to be permanently on your team who can handle website updates and other tech issues. Choose one and go with it. There's no other options. Opt-in offers psychology. Why is your opt-in important? Your opt-in is the place on your website where your visitor can join your list. If you don't have an opt-in or it's not converting, you're not taking advantage of your website. So one of the best ways to get someone's email address is to give them something valuable for free. How to make your website a conversion machine. I believe an email list is the best way to talk to your ideal customers because emails aren't going anywhere. Social media websites come and go, but emails have been here since the beginning, the beginning of the internet, and it's likely not going to change anytime soon. But the main reason why building an email list should be priority number one for you is because you are in control of your email list. When you spend all your time building your Facebook page, what if Facebook changes their terms of service and makes it so your Facebook updates don't end up in your fans' news feeds? And this can happen with Instagram, this can happen with Twitter, even with YouTube, right? With an email list, you are in control of the names in your database. You are in control of every single email. If your email service provider starts to mess with you and makes it so your emails are no longer delivered, you can take your emails out and put them into a new email service provider. You own the emails. So, well, you don't own the emails, but they're your emails. You can use them with any provider you want. So this is safer than relying on social media. When it comes to social media, you can't turn your Facebook likes into Twitter followers or Twitter followers into Pinterest pins or Pinterest pins into emails. You're not in control of that. Some third party is. So how to design a website that converts? I discovered three high converting areas of website design. If you place an email sign up form on your web design in these areas, 
you're going to find that your same website will be able to generate more leads off of the same amount of traffic. The first is what I call a feature box. The second is the top of your sidebar. And the third is the bottom of your articles. You can see the full breakdown and the full summary of the course. Free content. Between a business that has good free content and one that doesn't have any, the one with the best content always wins. Free content attracts prospects and gives them a taste of your business without you having to spend one-on-one -on -one time with each person. Free content allows you to make a difference to your market even for those who can't afford to work with you. When people first find you, they may not be ready to buy yet, but they're ready to consume your free content. A regular stream of free content allows you to stay in front of them when you are when they are ready to buy. So you've established trust, a relationship, and given them enormous value in advance, and that makes it easier for them to, to make a decision and buy from you. So this is the end of part one. Make sure to check out part two in the next video.